Imagine that you have an AI toolkit and when you open it, there are a variety of different machine learning models, namely transformers, that have been already trained for you. So you can single out them as is to leverage it for your use cases, or you can further fine tune them based on your data for your projects. And yes, we are talking about a new capability in Azure Machine Learning called Model Catalog, that when you open it, there are different machine learning models for different tasks like language, image, and even voice that you can use them as is or find them and deploy them in your own environment. And sorry, it's not easy to walk on the snows. If you want to check that out, then let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to another video. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about a new capability in Azure ML called Model Catalog. So if you open it, there are a variety of different machine learning models that they have been already pre-trained for you. You can use them as is for text classification, text summarization, text generation, or even text to image or voice to text. So you can use them as is or have your own data to further fine tune them and then deploy them. That means right now you do not need to develop those transformers from scratch and you do not need to develop your own configurations for the infrastructure needed for hosting those models. Because as of now in Azure ML, you can leverage them with just a click and even deploy them or even validate them with your own data. This is pretty cool feature and make sure you're using it. Then let's check it out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, now as you can see, foundation models now are available in Azure Machine Learning. Well, first of all, what are foundation models? And second, what's the benefit of having that in Azure Machine Learning? Well, for foundation models, think about like, there are a variety of different specific tasks that you can achieve them through machine learning models right for example text summarization text classification q a converting a specific data type to another let's say from voice to text or text to image and you might think that you don't need to develop your own model own transformer model from scratch to be able to achieve those use cases so how about this if we can choose some models that they have been already trained to do text summarization something like for example chat gpt chat gpt is a large language model that can do a lot of different text-based tasks or code-based tasks as an example right now here let's talk about specifically about text summarization do we have something like chat gpt that is open source that i can grab it deploy it in my own environment and then do text summarization text summarization well, the answer is yes, because now you can choose these models in Azure ML to deploy them in your own environment with just a click. And this is what we're going to talk about. So if we can see, uh, I will show you actually my Azure machine learning portal that when I open it, I can search the model that I want to deploy to, that is already trained for a variety of different tasks. For example, here you can see translation question answering text classification summarization let's say i want to have a machine learning model that does summarization i click on it and here it will show me list of models that they already trained that i can deploy them and leverage them and i can even test them here so what's the benefit then well if we have these models available in azure ml these foundation models that i can use them as is or fine tune them so first of all for deploying them there are some create environments that I can just deploy them as is. I don't need to manage the infrastructure needed for deploying these models, which can be a painful process. There are some optimization added to deploy and run them. There's a native support for distributed training if needed for these models. I can easily deploy to any infrastructure or hardware type that I want from Azure ML because these models are now integrated with Azure ML. And I can even evaluate these models on my own data, which I'm going to talk about that further when I go to Azure ML. And lastly, <clears throat> out of box, these open source models are available for me. So if you ask me what different tasks that I can do with these models, then let me show you my Azure portal. So when you log into your Azure Machine Learning, you will see a new tab in preview as of now that I'm recording this video 
called model catalog and if I click on it there are two different tabs again as of now one of them is open source models curated by Azure ML if I click on it here are a list of all the models that different tasks they can do I can filter search them by name by task or even by license or there are some models coming from Hugging Face and if you don't know what is Hugging Face well think about Hugging Face as a hub that there are lots of different models that has been hosted a lot of transformer libraries has been developed by Hugging Face so go there you will see a ton of different machine learning models and transformers that you can use them deploy them as is and you can have some open source even large language models they're similar to ChatGPT with comparable performance but of course there might be some caveats on those too but just give you an idea that it's a place with lots of models for different tasks you can leverage them so for example i want to do in hugging from hugging face models i want to do text summarization i click on it here are all different type of models that can do text summarization if i click on any of them randomly it tells me some bit of information about what is this model and if you want to know more about this model here is the link of this model in the hugging face so i can click on it and there you go it is telling me some information and i can even test the models on fly for example here's the input and this is the summarization output and some evaluation results but these evaluation results are based on let's say specific test data set if you want to have a better understanding of what is a specific evaluation metrics of that model for your use case then you have to test this model with your own test data this is another capability added to Azure ML model catalog that are going to talk about that. So getting back to my Azure ML environment, I can now deploy them as is, create a real-time endpoint out of this model. So I will create an API out of this model in my own environment and in my own Azure ML. This is great. Or I can go back, let's check out <clears throat> models cura curated by Azure ML, of course, open source models. And again, I want to look for summarization. There are two models that does summarization. Let's just start with this one. It gives me some more info. And interestingly, the summarization, the description of this model has been generated by ChatGPT. <laughs> That's interesting. And there you go. So there are more information, some fine-tuning samples, the sample input, and the sample output, which is a summarization from this model. I can even test the model on fry here. Look at that. Here's a sample. I want to do two summarization. I click on test. <clears throat> there you go the summarization is back for me if I'm happy with let's say I want to deploy the model so I can click on deploy I want to have it real time that's it I just want to specify how big is the machine should be to host my model and the endpoint name and I, if I click on deploy it will deploy it for me in my own environment and the configuration here is specified if I click on more options I can even have more advanced settings for example if it, it is doable I can have it let's say enable over a private network instead of public network I can specify the traffic allocation going to this model that is under a specific endpoint what type of compute that I gonna have how big it is how many nodes that I want to deploy this model so you have full flexibility of deploying this model in your own environment with this UI wizard as you can see here or if you want to find you in this model you don't want to use this model as is maybe you want to introduce some more data set from your use case to further tune and further train these models so you click on fine tune and just select your data that's it you can upload your data or from your registered data sets in azure ml you can select it and start fine tuning this model with specifying what compute gonna do their fine tuning or read further training for you and how you want to do validation split or test data split that's it now I mentioned that if you want to really make sure that you know the evaluation metrics of this model you have to test them with your test data so if I click on evaluate I can now have my own test data my project data to test this model against them and see for example how is the performance how accurate these models are with my own data set to make sure I'm more I can rely more on this model for my project this is another capability added you can give it a try and one more thing if you're looking for a model actually I deployed this model you can see if I go to the endpoint yes there you go this is the endpoint that I deployed you can see that 100% traffic goes to the model that I deployed from the model catalog 
and here is giving me the rest endpoint that I can call the model, test the model, and do the, the text summarization that I told you. Not necessarily training these models by myself or or dealing with so many complexities of hosting these models or creating configurations needed for the hosting these models. And if you're looking for a model that is not available in model catalog, you can import it. Let's say you can import the model from Hacking Face if it's not there. You can click on import. It will launch a notebook for you. And if you run the notebook, you can load that model from Hacking Face to Azure ML and deploy it from here. Here are different type of task of models you can import, let's say from Hugging Face. And if I scroll all the way down, there you go. You just need to copy the model ID from Hugging Face, paste the model ID in the code here. I think, there you go. When you go to the Hugging Face, by model ID, mean, I mean this is this name. You have to copy this name or ID from Hugging Face and paste it in your code which is here and that's it then you run this notebook you will have your model imported and registered from Hugging Face to Azure ML so this was a very quick overview of just introducing you this new capability I didn't went through I didn't go through a fine tuning or evaluation details uploading a test data but just wanted to show you the art of possibility here and I, I believe the UI and implementation is very user friendly and straightforward. So if you come here by yourself and just check out the evaluation or fine tuning, it should be pretty straightforward that you can, I'm pretty confident, do it by yourself. And I do believe that this is a great, great milestone for Azure ML to be able to really hog open source community, open source models. And now you can see that a lot of different tasks that you want to do with machine learning you don't necessarily need to retrain from scratch with your own models and invest in time and resources leverage this this community and all models and you have you want to host it in your environment so they should be secure enough to leverage them even for enterprise and i hope you enjoyed this video that's it do not focus too much on what you want to get in your life instead focus on what you want to give in your life. So choose your purpose by understanding who you want to help. I know it's difficult, but difficulties grow our soul. At the end of your life, it doesn't matter how much money you made, but if you took care of your people. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Until next video, take care.